Hurricane Dorian is moving ever closer to land and it is gaining steam. The store storm is now considered a category five and expected to slam the Bahamas today before moving on to the United States. Jackson Prosco is live from Daytona Beach, Florida this morning and Jackson. It, it really seems like this can still go any number of ways for people on that coast. Yeah, it really can, Kent. First of all, uh, spare a thought for the folks in the Bahamas because they're going to be dealing with those Category 5 conditions for 16 to 18 hours as this thing essentially stalls over top of them. All the models suggest that after the Bahamas, it's going to take a sharp hook to the north and essentially skirt the coast of Florida. But it's going to be a very close shave. We're talking a distance of kilometers making the difference between seeing hurricane force winds and rain on land or not at all. So people up and down the coast still getting ready. Here in Daytona Beach, you can see all the business along the boardwalk finished their final preparations yesterday boarding up and packing up and moving on out here on the beach side a few folks are still left behind enjoying the the bigger surf and waves this morning as the tide comes in but most tourists have packed up and left they're moving on uh, you know the bottom line here Kent is people are not taking any chances they're riding this out as long as they can but as that forecast track starts to firm up they're getting ready to move out evacuation orders for people like people are being told to leave or for the most part people obeying those and what about the airport we talked yesterday about Orlando's airport closing is that still the case yeah, so I think this gives you a sense of just how much things are in flux here. Some of those evacuation orders have actually been rescinded. They were supposed to come into effect this morning. Others are going into effect this morning, but they're very limited. They're just for outlying islands like the one that we're on. This one, by the way, not under evacuation order yet, uh, but really they're targeted to people who might live in mobile homes, for example. And Orlando's airport closing, well, that's now been delayed by a full day to Monday night. It was supposed to happen tonight. Uh, the airport here in Daytona Beach is supposed to shut down, though, at the end of the day today after the last flight. And so far, no plans to change that. Again, everyone just watching this very closely as they try and figure out what exactly to do. And for the people who are leaving, do you have any sense where they're going at this point? Or is it just scatter as far away from the coast as they can? Yeah, it's a mix. There are emergency shelters that have opened up, and some of them are fairly close to the coast, but they're structures that people know can sustain a hurricane. So if you live in a mobile home, obviously you're going to get to a well-built concrete structure. That just makes common sense. Uh, in other places, though, further up the coast, into the Carolinas and Georgia, where uh, there is some speculation, the model suggests this could still head, people have simply started reserving hotels a few hours inland, uh, hoping to drive away, stay there in a nice, well-built concrete structure, and then return once the storm has passed. Okay, certainly still in flux. Thanks, Jackson. That's Jackson Prosco, who is reporting live from Florida for us this morning.